so in this vlog I am going to show you this lovely little nature spot that's close by to where I live it's called Karlstad and it's really nice especially right now that we're all dying of heat um, it's shady it's always shady because there's a whole bunch of trees and boulders and there's a little river that runs through and it's just a lovely place to go. The kids love to run around and climb on the rocks and play in the water. Also, dog, dogs love going into this little nature area. It's very refreshing. And so we went there and um, I took my little sketchbook with my new markers that I wanted to play around with and was able to do a little, um, a little moment of play. See, I had already tried to draw with markers. I first started out with two Copic markers. These were my original ones. These, This is yellow okra, YR23, and this one is mint green, BG13. I don't know why I picked these colors to be my first markers, but I was not happy when I first tried them. I probably used a, probably like a sketch moleskin notebook that I had and it wasn't the best and I just saw streaks and I just wasn't happy. I, I didn't know anything about markers and this was a really long time ago. So I was not really into markers. However, um, there's an illustrator that I follow on Instagram on YouTube called Frenard, or Frenard, Fran. Um, she's from Chile and she uses markers. She tends to use Copics However, she also used Winsor Newton and I love the brand and I just loved the way that she was using them and the effect that they were leaving because they looked a little bit like watercolors. Um, so for my birthday, I got some markers. More than a set. Well, I first started out with just one, one set and that was the pastel one. So it came with pebble blue, meadow green, um, mm, rose pink. I need to pull them all out to find them because now my collection is no longer small. Uh, pink pearl, and there are two others missing. I believe one is oh, dus um, dusky pink, dusky pink, and another blue one. Oh, cool aqua. So these were the original ones. It was a set of six. And I tried them out. And I liked them. I did. But I mean, they're not the easiest colors to create something with. But this is all I had when I was creating this tree. And then I got the skin color one, which is just a bunch of skin color tones. I'll show you that here. That one's easier to find. Those are the skin color ones. And then, since I am a sucker for grays, I got the gray pack, which was a pack of 12 with a blender. So in that pack, it came with cool grays and warm grays. I'll show you all of those, see? And then I finally got the mid-tone one. Four, five. Here. Which are these? And I was very happy with my set. However, I was still missing a few colors. And since I was now happy with markers, I went to my local art store, my trusty, awesome local art store, 
who has an awesome selection of markers and especially Copic markers. And then I got, I got a um, yellow Y06. I got um, a, barium, a barium yellow, which is Y00. An eggshell, which is E50. And a uh, Prussian blue, which is B39. I love this blue. Then I got, which one is this? Ah, pale pink, RV10. And brush, oh, bush, BG96. And with that, with my two older colors that still work, even though these are at least eight years old, I have a great set. And so this is my first video with markers, and I hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think. So I will be making a whole series of marker videos. So thanks for stopping by. Bye.
Thank you.